What's up? So I wanted to make a uh, short video on Phenobarb or Phenobarbital. Uh, it's commonly known and uh, my experiences and uh, the good and bad of it. What I've experienced so far. I've been on for five months. Um, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm just I'm a patient who has been on a lot of meds. Uh, here we go. I'd like to give like a short like overview of the medication in case people are unfamiliar with it or um, it's just like, just like a little more information in general. So just in case you want to know like the basics or you're uh, have no idea what you're getting into here. Um, these are the, the, the big side effects, the ones that they that are listed on like every site you could look up. Um, but if if you want to, you might as well just go to the website and um, look up all the effects. Anyways, um, phenobarbital, it is a schedule four drug, just like uh, like Advan or any uh, benzo, because uh, it's our barbiturate, which is uh, closely related to that that class. Um, uh, so here's like, I'll, I'll try to make this quick. I'll, I'll speed this up or something. It says, uh, you may experience vomiting symptoms, weak or shallow breathing, unusual pain anywhere in the body. Uh, pale skin, muscle weakness, diarrhea, weight loss, rapid heart rate, tongue swallowing, numbness or tingling in your hands or feet, feeling short of breath, fever, sore throat, swelling in your face or tongue, burning in your eyes and pain. Uh, oh, sorry. Burning in your face or eyes and skin pain followed by red or purple rash caused, causes blistering and peeling. Ew. Um, so those are things you may experience. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've experienced none except for like um, just um, no, no weight loss yet. I'm with keto. Uh, I've experienced none except for just like uh, some tiredness. Uh, oh, here, here, uh, not to forget, the most common symptoms are drown speed, uh, drowsiness, lack of energy, dizziness, depression, restlessness, excitement, drunk feeling, and a hangover effect the next day after taking the medication. Um, I could say these are all true, um, especially if you're, if, especially when you're all first new to it. Uh, you'll be very drowsy. Uh, if you take a morning dose, you'll, you'll want to just go back to sleep in like an hour. As soon as it like, really hits you. Um, lack of energy. I can't say that I've experienced lack of energy. Um, but dizziness. Uh, I had a lot of that when I first started. Um, depression. That No. no depression doesn't. I, my medications don't depress me. Um, restlessness. Nope. <laughs> uh, excitement. Can't say I have. Drunk feeling. Um, I wouldn't say I, it was a drunk feeling. Uh, but it just it uh, tires you. It makes you very tired. And do not take this with alcohol, because you'll you will have a drunk feeling very fast. I made that mistake. Don't do it. Um, very much limit yourself, um, and do not take alcohol immediately after taking your med. That's like it's it's a double whammy. You'll be out. Um, so here's here's like a few statements from from these sites for get to my um personal view uh phenobarbital is, is a barbiturate a non-selective uh, central nervous system depressant um so like it, it it works on your whole your whole body uh it, it's it's not like some medications that uh are very very selective in what they do it, um it's kind of like like a well like almost like one size fits all um, symptoms of uh, phenobarbital withdrawal. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. Symptoms of phenobarbital dependence are similar to those of chronic alcoholism, and I thought that was crazy until like I read the whole thing, and it's true. Like, you, you, I guess you would find out pretty quick if if you're dependent, and I mean, depending on how long you're on it, um, some people stay on it forever. Um, I'm sure they gain dependency and they'll go down slowly. Phenobarbital might be expected to lose its effectiveness for inducing and maintaining sleep after about two weeks. So first two weeks are like, it said this for a lot of things. First two weeks are like your most potent. You're going to be hit with the hardest and uh, you'll go to sleep fast. Um, that's that's all the stuff I wanted to pick out. I went through a few different sites to find those things. Um, the side effects, def definitely just go read the side effects if you're concerned. Some people are side effect freaks, but I've been through so many medications, side no matter how long the list is, I'm usually put on it. Um, 
Uh, but uh, so like my personal experience with phenobarb or phenobarbital is like it would it would make me super sleepy. Uh, at first, at first I would get super tired, and then, and then like, you know, if you take it in the morning, you get you get tired, but uh, that wears off. Yeah, probably, it's probably like a one to two hour th uh, period between where you're like, oh shit, I'm tired, and then and then it slowly goes downhill. But it's it's all still in your blood system. Um, so ideally, uh, if you can take your your dose at night, if, if that works for you and your doctor because <clears throat> it it all uh, it still makes me a little sleepy as soon as i take it i it's like 45 minutes of like oh, i'm ready for, i'm ready for bed and uh i'm not a huge fan of that but I, it doesn't hurt also at the same time because epileptics need their sleep but the biggest thing i would say about this drug is that i've experienced so far is mixing it with alcohol like it's is very similar if not more potent than like I've I've had I've had taken Advan and have had alcohol in my system before that, and it wasn't near. Uh, that'll get you pretty turned up, um, and it's not a good thing. You go to sleep, you just get really sleepy, um, unless you're a drug addict and you're down with that. Um, but I had I took my phenobarbital one night and I planned to go to the bar with my brother and I was new to it and I so I didn't know like how how this played out. And maybe like 30 minutes after taking my, my, my nighttime med, I had a shot, just one shot of Jameson. So, I mean, it's, it's just hard liquor on top of a barbiturate. And, um, I was, <laughs> my, my brother thought I was like roofied or something. Cause I was, I was stumbling. I, by the time we made it to the second bar, I, I didn't have anything else to drink. It was literally one shot, one shot of Jameson. Um, I was like stumbling. I was slow. Like my, uh, my speech was a little slurred and uh, I had just had to go home. Uh, and that was one shot on top of phenobarbital, 92 milligrams. It's, it's a very potent drug. Um, to, do not, uh, drink much alcohol on top of it. Or if you do just spread it out, make sure you take your medicine, maybe eat something, layer it, um, and just wait for it to get into your bloodstream instead of waiting for it to sit in your stomach and sh pour a shot back. Uh, big mistakes were made. Uh, lessons learned. Um, I'm trying to think of something else like about, like say about it. Um, I mean like I haven't had uh, right now, this is definitely my most potent drug, um, th that I take day and night. Um, I take like, what, what is that? I'll have to find the dosage. I take like, it's like 92 point something and, um, 32 point whatever's they're very, very odd numbers. And, uh, I, I take the 97 morning and night, and then I take the 97 plus 30, 32, whatever at night. Um, that's just how, uh, I found out works best for me. Um, uh, I can't. I can't like I mean, comment to like, the whole rapid heart rate, tongue swelling, all that crazy stuff. I'm looking at it just like those are insane symptoms. But um, uh, the unusual pain. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm usually in pain from hitting the floor somehow. But uh, the last last time I was at doctor's, which was like three days ago, um, I had my neck really hurt, and I. I had only taken a fall like three days before, so uh, still, it's like muscle weakness. It's like, it's like, how do you judge a weakness? Like, I mean, it's just like um, it's tough to say. Uh, I just, I, I can't say I've had any. I'm, I don't consider consider myself pale. Um, uh, numbness and tingling, f shortness of breath, fever. The one of the biggest symptoms is uh, any any page or doctor talking about phenobarbital will say is um, uh, it'll lower your respirations. So um, that's why you have to be extra careful with taking alcohol too, because um, your respirations you won't breathe well. You you're not gonna get enough oxygen, and that's no bueno. 
um, it's just like uh, one of the biggest precautions I was given was don't take um, Ativan too much Ativan with with this medication because I take Ativan quite frequently depending on how uh, my seizures are acting up um, I was told not to go over like I think four milligrams um, two two is like normal for me um, I could take two and still function but uh, I'll be able, it's, it's a funny day um, Uh, I yeah. I think it's it. Don't drink and take peanut butter. Song. I uh, this is like the least. Uh, this can be a lot of editing. <laughs> this isn't my best review, but it's also I've only been on this five months, so uh, it's hard to say. Uh, like everything that's going on, but uh, I hope to help in some degree. Um. Be careful what you drink and the meds you take. Have a good day.